Hello everybody, this is Sonia. Now we're up to take two, take two on this because I, I made a mistake and I had to fix it, <laughs> okay? Well, I fixed it, I've got to come back and, and redo this. So today I'm making centres for our flowers. One of the ladies on here, I think her name was Judith, might have been asked me about where I buy these little things and they are something that I got off AliExpress a really long time ago. You can probably buy them in the shops or in other places too but um, so if you want to go and, and have a look for them but if I can find you some I could send you some but I can't I couldn't find where I got them from for, for love and the money I could not find where I got them from. You better undo this bit because I was I was trying to figure out how this went. Now I know. Okay, so <clears throat> you need to have beads for this middle thing here. Um, the same size, right? They all have to be the same size. And um, I'm, and I put on six uh, around the outside. This one's got seven and it doesn't quite work right. It's too many. And there's too much opening in the middle there. So I've got, um, I threaded on three white ones and a pink one. And now I go back through this one here. Right. Well, I'm Sonia and I'm in Australia and I'm on a, getting on with this because I need to f remember before I forgot again because I've been trying to do these now for a while, I keep getting back through the wrong thing. One, two, three more beads. Oops. And it's cold and raining and horrible out there. It's Friday and I think the temperature's about 10 or something. It's not good. But anyway, I must remember to look at that. So you've got that, you threaded those three on there. <laughs> And then it comes around like this, see? Can you see what I did? Like that. And then I'm going to go back, well, you would go back through here. <coughs> this is not easy to show you how to do this. Um, so we go back through that one, right? -o. And then you've got a circle of pearly things, see? that you can use and I'm going to just keep going round in through these so I can make it a little bit more secure okay I might have to find something a bit bigger and make I might get a bit bigger bead out and see if I can make something that you can see me doing because this is too too many fingers and thumbs and hands and things and you can't see nothing but I'm going to go around in there and then I suppose once you achieve it that way then it's not so hard keep going. I'll come back to the beginning by re-threading through those beads and then I'm going to tie a couple of knots in the end of it here, okay? Right. Come on. I think I know where I can find a couple of beads, so we'll do that. Now I went up the street the other day, up the town, and I bought um, some containers. And I was buying some, I'm going to keep that reasonably long because I can thread that now through a needle and take it through the back of here, right, so that I've got that, that on there. And that looks pretty cool, doesn't it, for a little centre. So you can do them all different sorts and sizes, it depends what you use. Now, so when I set up containers, um, I got some of these from Big W, these big ones. They were in the men's fishing part. They were $12 marked down the throne. I couldn't leave them there. And then I was buying something like this um, from somewhere. I went over to the kitchen part, and look what I found. These dear little cap little ones like this. Now, they're going to fit in more. Because you're going to take up the whole space. So Sonia's going back up to get some more of those. So I've got these ones here that I might be able to show you how to make that centre a bit easier than that. Because these, 
these things all come from a, um, a necklace. These ones that are in here and those other bottles. So this is nice, this one. Um, but I'm going to need to have them. I don't know how they'll, they'll look together. The brown ones will work all right. Cause, and then there's a white one for the middle. There you go. Or can I do the other way around? I do the, they're not much bigger than what I was using, are they? One white one for the middle is not the same size. Okay. See, the more beads you put in there, the bigger it's going to be. Yeah. Is that about the same size? That thing is a little bit, a little bit different. Not too bad. I might have to see. What if I went with those gold ones? That might be better. Sorry about this. I want you to be able to see what I've done. And I don't think that one's going to look very pretty. <laughs> Just saying. I don't think it's going to look as good as what we're after. I've got these gold ones in here. We'll get these out. I can open it. <laughs> I will be able to open it, I'm sure. <laughs> one day. I've got some pliers here somewhere. Oh, geez, I'm a bit of a weakling me today. I still haven't been feeling too smart, but I'll be okay. I'm sure I will. Oh, there, so I've got big ones and smaller ones. So I'm going to do these ones here, I think. These bigger ones will be good. You might be able to see what I'm doing, I hope. There's five of those. And do we have... That's a different shape, that centre. Uh, about that orange one. It could be about right. Now, yeah, that's the one shut for me, what's going on? There we go. Put it up there. You should see this interesting setup I have here. My husband got me a, a, a brick. It's got a hole through it, a big, it's a quarter. Well, I don't know, it's a cement brick anyway, and he fastened the um, tripod holder thingy, <laughs> this holder thing onto it and put my camera. It works amazing. It's just the thing, it's really heavy up that end so it doesn't fall over. When I say that, I hope it doesn't. And I really like it because it's easy for him to set it up for me and then I can stay out here because I'm going to get cold and... And everything, and I just thinking I'd like a bit bigger bead. Here's a white one. This might work. This bloke here. It might be a good size. For that it's better than the orange one because it's too small. Okay, so now we need a needle and thread. And it's come unthreaded. It took me ages this morning to thread my needle. Oh dear, I was really upset with me, so you know what I did. I was on. I was making a film, right? You know the video, and I couldn't get it threaded, so I had to turn it off. Turned it off and just threaded it up. Too real easy. And I threaded them up and sat them there, cause, <laughs> so I know that they're they're there and they'll be right. Actually, I don't know if I can do. Yes, I can do this with this bigger one because they should fit through the hole. So you need you need to put on three gold ones, right? And a, and a white one, or whatever colour you want. It's a bit little, might be a tiny bit bigger. And that's what I just pulled through. You don't want to lose your bead. And it will go over this knot. Um, I should have showed you first. You could actually put a bead on first. but So then you want to go back, hold it with your... This one towards the end, so you go through there. Right? Go back through that end one. And pull around like that. Okay. Now hang on to this because it needs to be hung on to. We need did I only get five? Probably did, but I need six, don't I? I do I say I'm doing six. Have to do six because five won't fit around there. Right, I'll grab another one. What about where are they in here? Oh here goes this container again. 
and they'll have it be hard to open and shut it real easy. Here we go, we've got that. It got dark in here now because I had the computer light on for it so we could see more. And that's unthreaded. But we, we, we can be patient because it's worth it in the long run. Teaching makes some nice things. I'll show you what I've been doing. I don't know if I've got anything different to what I showed you the other day, though. Well, I might have, because I really wanted to show you how you can do your own. So, um, I need to put that into there and come round and go through this way, okay? You get me? We're going back through this way. If I can get <laughs> on the hole. There you go. So we're going to go through here. What on earth am I doing? I'm going the wrong way now. I need to go back. And pick them up, Philly. You go all the way around again and just make it so it's nice and cosy. No, you don't don't go back the one you're coming out of. You know you'll need to go this way. You can see which one you just come out of. Now if you can't see what I'm doing, please let me know and I'll try and do it a bit easier for you so you can see what I'm up to. Okay, I wanted to go all the way around there. But I've nearly run out of thread. I'll push the needle through first. Through those two there. I'll thread it now. And pull that through like so. Make a knot in it. Knot those two together. Do a couple of knots. And you got this nice centerpiece could go on something like that if you wanted to so just get these two pieces thread them up and stitch them onto there so I did that little pink one I've made these little tiny pink um, check ones because I really liked that I thought that was quite fun then I did some um, square um, check flowers and I did a button center for that I just covered a button that's really easy and I've also done some lace ones and covered the button and put in there and I think that looks awesome I love that so I'm actually going to do this other one now and then I'm going to show you a different sort um, I've got, I really like the color of this and I thought that it looked really good on there but it's not got that much going for it, it needs to be bigger. And to cover your button is really easy, and so therefore you can make really good centres out of that. Now, what colour do I want to put in the centre? Do I want that one? I don't know. I could. Could have that colour. I could have this. Here is a piece of satin material. I'll put that in the middle. It's not doing nothing much, is it? It's just sitting there. It just means okay. Um, because that's done with lace. I don't think I showed you the lace ones, did I? That I've made. Uh, I don't think I showed you that. It's made pretty pretty much the same as. Hmm, I don't have any of those. I guess I do. Here we are. There's a few in, in this one here that I've been <laughs> working on. So here we are. It's pink. <laughs> it's all pink, is it? Oh dear. Does that matter? It doesn't, does it? I'm going to do this one after, too. Maybe not today. But I've, I've done a few of these. <laughs> I might have to get another colour. What do you reckon? Let's get a blue or something. <laughs> 
Let's get another colour and we'll start working on blue and yellow. It was only yellow ones nice, isn't it? And that little yellow one. And there's me bit of sewing I'm working on behind there. I haven't put beads on that thing yet, but better get a different colour. <laughs> I'm sort of stuck on the pinks, aren't I? Okay, so... <clears throat> But I haven't done lace. No. And it's not hard. You just do it exactly the same way as what we did the strips of ribbon and the um, pieces of fabric. We just do it exactly the same way. And for these, these check ones here, I don't know how they'll look with lace. They might look really nice. But you'll need a big enough piece because you've got to cut out circles. Okay. Now, I'm just going to do the button thing and put it in the centre of here. But I don't know if I want to have something um, a bit more interesting. Hmm. Maybe I could just go with that again because that's what's in this one. And I think that look really that looks really good. That does. I like that. Uh, I've actually got a. <coughs> Just put that there, Sonia. Get a button. That size will be good. Yes. Do a little circle around the piece that you want. And the piece that I want is over here. See the nice mauve bit? Because I think the mauve goes really nice with that there. So I'm going to do a little bit of a circle around this so I can see what's going on. I mean, to cut it out. Now I've got to think that's got to go on top of the button, right? Then I've got to have... Um, a bit for the so up the side and across the back. <coughs> so I need to make that a little bit different. Bigger, I should say. The word is bigger, Sonia. Okay. <coughs> I'm going to cut it out. About that far, <laughs> I think it should do. I'm doing what probably I'll give it a little measure in a minute, and we'll see so you will know about how much you. Well, when you when you look at it, you're gonna think now if it folds over there from that line and over there from that line, you got some, enough on the back, all right. So you need to put your stitch line. Oh, you can put it out here, I suppose, a bit. Don't go too close to the edge, right? Because you don't want to, um... Now, I did all that on the wrong side, so it wouldn't, um, be seen when you made it. Okay. You go around here like so. And make this little cover for your button. You got there's so many different things you can do with buttons, you know. But I never think you never think to use them. Sometimes put that in there and close it. Look, I got heaps. See how I made it heaps big enough? Heaps and heaps big enough. And I do like that. But while I've been doing that, I've had an idea. <laughs> I've had an idea. While I've been doing that. Because you want to go around here then and just make sure everything's nice and down flat and you don't want any peaky pieces popping up there, all right? You don't want any of them. Oh, dear. I hope to be able to come on here every day. <laughs> Do a bit. Because I really enjoy it. <coughs> I've got <coughs> a few things to show you. I've got, I might do the the show and tell thing here in a minute, I don't know. Well, it's not a show and tell, I have something that I found and I want you to tell me what it is. Well, that'll be a show and you tell me <laughs> that. Okay, so that's good. I might put a knot, you know, just loop it back through like we do. Just so you can see what's happening. Gee, I hope you can see what I was doing. I've got the, <laughs> I've got the clock on the computer in front of me. It's not going to do me much good, but I think I can manage to watch it so I don't get past the time. Computer is actually a laptop that I'm working on here. I've got it covered with that thing now, so. 
<coughs> oh dear, sorry. <laughs> Bit yawning. That's not good. Yeah, but I was so sick. Well, I felt so sick. I'm still not going to get worse, I know, because I'm on antibiotics now. But I haven't, I've got to talk to the doctor this afternoon. Because antibiotics take away all your good. What's the name, don't they? All your goodness as well as fix you, I hope. And I've got to, she's ringing me today. I've got to talk to her about stuff. But I slept yesterday, nearly all, all, all the morning party yesterday. And, um, and slept pretty good last night. So I hope that keeps up. I mean, sleeping's a good idea. It's good for me. Now, I shouldn't have stuck that on there because I want to do something else with it. But I will get one of my bead needles now that I've got threaded. Because I'm going to put some beads on. you got to have some beads on, don't you? And I hope that I've got something in the move here somewhere. Because I'm thinking that's what I'm going to need. And we'll hope it's right because we glued it on. I've changed the glue that I'm using too, by the way, for this for the fabric things. Because um, I didn't want to sit that there. That might fall down. Um, the other dark glue, <laughs> glue doesn't... It does... It fixes on really good, but it doesn't dry quick enough. So I'm using this now, this tacky glue, and it dries really good. And really, well, it dries fast as well. Quicker on the fabric than what the other did. So now I've got this piece here with the... Now I come up through the back. Go through the fabric at the side of the button, okay? If, you, if you've got it all like this. And then I'm going to put these on here. It's just lots of different ways you can decorate your, your work, isn't there? And then just pick up the... Just pick up the, the bit of fabric on the button, real easy. And then push it, put it back through. Oops. Like that. That's pretty cool. If you want to do that before you stick it on, you can. It's probably be a better idea. Be nice if I can catch one of these. I've got one. And because there's a little bit of move on there, I thought this is a purpley bit would work okay. Come on. What have I done here? Is it too close? Uh, no, I don't think so. It was just twisted a bit. Might be a bit too close. I'm not going to take it out though. If any, anything, I'd put more back where I started. I might put more in if it doesn't work right. See what happens then. It's clicked up a bit, and that one's not good because it's not. Well, I suppose this is a dish I got them out of, in the right place. <laughs> they look close to the colour of the ones next to them. I hope it's right. Looks to me. I don't know if this is looking what I, what I expected it to be or not, you know. I don't know if this is quite right, what I'm after. I'll have to see. You know, you can envision something, but you don't know what it's going to look like till it's done, do you? Might need more or something. So when you're doing this sort of thing, like putting up videos and doing craft and things like that, you do have to... Um, Audition them first. Sometimes they might not be what you thought they were going to be. 
I think that's not good. <laughs> I'll keep going though, okay? Just to, just to see what it turns out like. <laughs> it seems a shame though that I had to muck it up. Back through two here's that bit caught up the wrong piece. A bit of thread is stuck in there. Well, the light's gone out. Hope you can still see. <clears throat> Come on. As soon as I said it didn't work, it didn't. Then after that, did it? It's not working at all for me. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do this though, you know, because you gotta have great determination to do these things. It's important. <laughs> it's important that we just continue on. We can't let it get the better of us, can we? It's a piece of thread, for goodness' sake. Well, oh, I can't get that to come through there, I never know. I wonder how many people just clicked off this. <laughs> oh, come on. Well, while I'm doing this, though, I'm having ideas. <laughs> it's giving me ideas, like, not to throw it in the bin, but of what I can do with it to make it like I want it to be, like I'm happy with it or something. I must, have, I must have put the thread through the other piece of thread and I'm going to persist because if I don't I won't be very pleased. Now you take me another minute I imagine. I think it's got it now because I had to split the thread to get it. I think it might be right now. How about now? Come on. R really? Well, I've got two bits right now. Uh, it doesn't look like it's going to work. It's going to be in a messy. Oh, come on, come through there, please. Gotcha. Took a while. I'm going to break that bit off at the end. Because it is split, and I don't want it. Um, don't want that on there. <clears throat> now, must be time, say. I don't know. A little bit to go here. <clears throat> now we're going to come up with the next bit. And it's twisted, so we're a bit untwisted. Might look better if it's on there properly. Yeah. Couple more beads. And that should be. Oh, that doesn't want to stay on, so I'm just going to look up the, the clock up on the wall. Which some people don't much have them anymore, do they? You know, they don't bother. They always have their time on their phone. They do. Now that doesn't look too bad, but I think I might go on. <laughs> Onward with it and go around here. What do you reckon? See what happens. Could be too much, but maybe not. Everybody's having a good day. It's really cold. Jeremy told me Jeremy told me it was gonna be cold here now for the next week and wasn't gonna be ten degrees. <laughs> Ooh, it's horrible, isn't it? Ten degrees. Well, 
I don't know if there's anything out there in this world that I would be putting this on to. <laughs> I'm just... <laughs> I'm giving you an idea here. Right? It's an idea. <laughs> it's an idea. Whether it works or not, it's another thing. It sort of changes it completely to what it was before, doesn't it? Don't you think? It just completely changed this to what it was before. And I don't like it one bit. Oh, dear, I get... I get <laughs> After all that fiddling around I did with that bead, trying to get that string through there, after all that trouble I went to, I'm going to cut them off, because I can. I was like up my material. It just didn't help it, it did it, putting these on. I was thinking that we needed something, and it wasn't that. It wasn't a purple bead, was it? <sighs> Look, that's better. You know, and now, it's, and now it can lend itself to something you know, different, <laughs> can't it? It can be... I've got to pick them beads up now. i be disappointed in myself if I don't. Um, let me see. How about a spot? Uh, gives it a bit of a lift, doesn't it? But not the... Not the idea. What's that one? It's too big. I'm going to leave it like it is now that I've showed you it. But you can do what I did if you like it like that, see? That's the thing. <laughs> I don't have to you leave mine, but you can leave yours if you've done that. So anyway, I'm going to show you this now. This thing I bought the other day, I've seen it in the... Um, oh, hang on. <laughs> stuff in it. I've seen it at the Care and Assist thing place. It says Diana, and this has got patent pending, P-E-N-D, must be pending, right? It's got these hooky things on it, and a piece of, piece of um, spring around there. This is, looks like a piece of, um, well, I don't actually know what that's called. It's got these hooky things, and you can push this across, and the hooky things move, look. And I can't really Google it because I can't say what it is. So I don't know. It's got to be something to do with a bit of sewing or something. Or beading or knitting or something, doesn't it? But anyway, it looks like it's fairly old. It's got a bit of a tag here part that was torn off. They didn't know what it was, but they were just going to sell it anyway. But anything that looks remotely like anything, they had it in them where the jewellery that was. So anyway, if you can tell me what that is, I'll be really impressed. It's only about, it's not very big. Well, as you can tell by my hand, there you go. I have big hands, but this is probably only two and a bit inches across there, if that. We'll see what it is. I'll just measure it and see what we got. Yes, it is two and three quarter inches across there. And this is two inches there. And they've got... One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven little things. And if I knew what it was, I could use it, couldn't I? <laughs> if I knew what it was. It's just something to do with weaving or beading or something, or something anyway. So thank you everybody for watching. I'm sorry I didn't teach you anything amazing today. Although we did learn how to do these little blokes. And then you can put them on your, um, your bits and pieces. Maybe that would have looked nice in the middle of this one but it's not quite what I'm going for today. I like the I like the way this turned out. And I'm thinking I'm gonna put this different, not that that's <laughs> not, not the gold. Anyway, thank you for watching and I'll talk to you later. Everybody stay safe. Leave me a comment. Subscribe if you'd like to see some more of my stories. <laughs> Sometimes I do some really amazing ones, but other times you never know. Thank you for watching. Bye bye.